So what we're doing here today is, as others have mentioned to you in the lab, we isolate immune cells from the gastrointestinal tract. And one of the main questions that I'm trying to answer with my project is how um, the diet affects the immune system of the GI tract. And because, as you know, the gastrointestinal tract, the main function that it serves is to absorb food, our observations have pointed to the fact that the immune system of the GI tract may be uniquely tuned to respond to cues from the diet and elements that are contained within the diet, um, there's evidence emerging that they are able to control the intestinal immune system. So for instance, we like to study in the lab uh, vitamin A because vitamin A deficiency as a nutrient deficiency is one of the most common nutrient deficiencies in the world. And um, because of its influence on the immune system, the lack of vitamin A actually leads to immune deficits and poor vaccine responses. And in children with vitamin A deficiency, they can actually be more susceptible to diarrheal disease uh, and malnutrition because of their vitamin A deficiency. However, it's still poorly understood how vitamin A deficiency can directly lead to the immune deficit seen uh, in children around the world with vitamin A deficiency. So we use mouse models to study vitamin A deficiency. So we can design a diet that is specifically deficient in vitamin A and give that to mice and then we can study the immune deficits, the result from a diet that's deficient in vitamin A in mouse models. And we can then either vaccinate or infect these mice that are vitamin A deficient and test the exact immune impairments. But more importantly, we can also test what elements we can give back to restore immune function and to restore vaccine responses and to improve outcomes after infection or disease.